The weather is finally looking up here in Texas and we are itching to start the renovation work again on our cottage. But we may have hit a snag in my design plan that would put a big dent in our budget. So if you haven't heard, I wanna move the house back about 40 to 45 feet because I want a proper front yard. Right now, the front yard is just like 19 feet and it's so close to the street and we have so much land. So I wanna move the house. Do I know how to do that? Not really. Do I know how much it's gonna cost? Mm, not really, but we have done it before. My parents have done it before. So I'm gonna call the guy that we used. I have an idea of how much it's gonna cost, but I really, really don't know. So let's find out. I'll probably be here by 9.30 in the morning. Just text me the address and we'll be there. Absolutely. We'll take a look at it first. I know that there are some things that I need to do in order to get you to move it. There's a, there's a, the well, it's old, an old windmill hole that I need to fill up. So I'm gonna be working on that today because we wanna make sure okay. that that's filled and not sitting underneath the house in a hole. <laughs> um, okay, 9.30, I'll text you the address right now and I'll see you then. Yeah, that'll be up at 9.30 in the morning. Thank you so much. <laughs> Still don't know how much it's gonna cost. He has to look at it first, right? Billy, he was like moving it tomorrow. <laughs> feels so good to just be outside. So the plan of attack, now that we've talked to the mover, the guy to come out and look at moving the house back, we gotta prep this place to move. If that's something that's feasible and it's it's something that can happen and it's something that's okay price. So I'm gonna get all of this trash gone. We got a lot to do. You look like a marshmallow. We need to open it because we're not strong enough to lift it into the dumpster, so we're gonna try and open it. Oh. Oh. Yes. oh my god! I'm in the dumpster! Wedding. We did it. Turned off the water and drained all the pipes before the storm. And I came over here to check the house after the storm and it was all fine, but I didn't try and turn on the water. And then when I turned it on, everything else was okay, but the tub faucet was just full force. Like, psh. they were all, the handles were turned off, everything just set to fix it. Well, anyways, we're going to be taking these two walls down anyways, because this is gonna be the kitchen and the dining room and the bathroom is gonna be relocated and we're actually gonna turn that space into two bathrooms. So. Meanwhile, back in the house, my dad got the whole tub off. We had to cap that pipe, so he's got it all out. Look at that, wow. Let's talk about our caution tape here. And they said that it used to be a windmill. A fire pit. Oh, we thought it was a fire pit. Yeah, we thought it was a fire pit and then they said that it used to be a windmill used to stand here. Pole goes like, I don't even know how many feet down it goes all, they drilled all the way down until they hit water. So this is how they used to pump water. We now have electricity and then it runs to the house now, but you gotta do something about this. So I'm gonna drop something down it so that you, maybe we could hear it hit the bottom. Hello! Do you hear an echo? Hello! Okay, let's see if we can hear it. Drop it straight down. Yeah. Tell me when. Go. <laughs> Oh my God, it never stopped. That was a heavy pipe. It fell fast. 
for a long time. We um, contemplated several options here. We could fill it. My dad said we could fill it with sand and then concrete to look really clean it off. To get 14 tons of sand and then get it delivered and have it on a big truck, it was gonna cost me $437. Plan B was to not spend $437 and for my dad to seal it, cap it. He's a welder so he can weld it um, with steel. And then I think, did he say put concrete over it? Yeah, much better than three, $437. He wants me to make a template. So I have a piece of paper to make an impression. We thought that this might be a good idea. You seen the breakfast club a million times before. You miss your sister's room with Joey on the door. Who wants to take on Stevie? So my dad welded that piece down in the hole. So we're gonna come back over it with some concrete and seal this up. And then this is going to be underneath the addition. So you're never even gonna see it, but nothing will get in it, which is a good thing. Next on the list to figure out before he comes and gives us a quote on moving the house tomorrow is when we were up in the attic, so to speak, I climbed up on the top of the roof and looked in there. We saw three, if not four previous chimney brick situations they clearly took them out of the house over the years but were they left underneath the house we're going to take off the skirt in certain places around the house because we have to do that anyways to move it well that solves that question and they ain't there so we don't know why they had chimneys before three or four of them they removed all the brick inside the house and underneath the house, but they didn't remove it from the attic. We don't know why there's all that weight up there. It's a mystery. I gotta tell the guy tomorrow. Next thing on the agenda, before the sun is setting, before we do that, I wanna stake off where we're going to position the house in the future. This is all hopefully that I can afford to move this house. I would love the curb appeal, added front yard with all of this yard. Why wouldn't I have a front yard? It's just so close to the street. Hi, how are you? Um, and we put a stake where about where we want the house, the front of the house to be, so I can show you that. I definitely think that this was an add-on too, but for some reason, everything, right? Except for what was in the original pitch line there and there. So the front yard from the road to the front of the house will be 60 feet. So it's not turning, it's not shifting, it's just straight back. So something like this, I'm gonna move it back and all that, move it and set it up. Y'all gonna take all of this off for about 8,000 for everything. Ooh, it's a lot more <laughs> than we thought. How many years ago was it that we moved that cabin? Like nine years ago that we moved something and it was a lot more complicated it had to be moved back and down the way and around turned around so that was a lot more complicated i thought this would be a more simple move but it's over double what i thought he was going to say every single time i drive up to the house it aggravates me how close it is to the street that's the road right there right there and i don't know why it's just something in me it's like i Oh, that house is so close to the street. And you know, it's, it's like a mental thing and it's something that's bothering me. But if that's how much it's going to cost, that has to be something that I think about for a while. We have so much to do before that happens. This is all the original house here, this room right here. <laughs> here, 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 here. But this room, all of this, you can see that it was an add-on. It used to be that sleeping screened-in porch. The hot tub room that we already removed, we did that. This room, the craft room, is an add-on. You can even see the outside of the house inside that room. Obviously, this porch was added on, and then the laundry room was built onto the porch. So you can see where that pitch line is and where that roof pitch line is. That is the only part of the original house. All of this was added on over the years for whatever they needed them for. That was the price with it cheaper if we remove all the rooms. Have all of that to do anyways. I'm not gonna make a decision today. I can definitely see how, you know, moving a house is, you know, kind of like throws you for a loop. It's like, what? 
it, you know, but the house is on pier and beams. So you can see the concrete cement blocks there, and then there's posts underneath as well. And they've come back, see, kind of, that is all kind of new because they came back and leveled the house a lot. So it has the space to slide something underneath and pick it up and move it. See all of the concrete, how, you know, just mess, all of this is gonna be broken up. It adds into why I don't like the front, I think. You know, look at all this concrete. All of this is going to be taken down. The porch is in bad shape. So I slept on the whole idea of moving the house back. And I called a few more people. And the price was either around the same or even more with larger companies and stuff. And I made a pro and con list. It's been something that I've wanted to do for a while. So I just want to really think it through and make sure that it is or is not something that I want to do going forward. So pros to moving the house back 40 to 45 feet to get a larger front yard, which is very important to me, but that's one. Increase in feel and look for the curb appeal. You know, when you're driving past the house, just having that yard and it curb appeal. Also, the further the house back, the lower the road noise is. Granted, there's not tons of road noise, but when a truck passes by and it's only a stone's throw away, it's a little bit loud. Cons are it's gonna be $8,000 plus because that's just to move the house. That's not the supplies that are needed to level the house once it's moved, the pad, the electrical, the plumbing, the, all of that that's wrapped into it, that's gonna be even more. Another con that's actually been scaring me a lot is the potential to mess something up in the house. Also a con is that it won't match the rest of the neighborhood. How homes were built back then, they were all built really close to the street. I thought about it, I stood outside for hours just kind of staring at it, and I think just with everything that, just the way that the house looks right now, it just isn't pretty. It needs a lot of work, all that broken cement, all that, the porch that just doesn't look cute right now, and the, the fencing that's on both sides of the house just creates this like big wall, I feel like. And I think that that's what's throwing me. Very confident that I have talked myself out of moving it, saving on the budget, putting that budget into something else, either landscaping or inside the house. I don't think that it's worth thousands of dollars it's going to cost. I don't think that's worth for a front yard, but that's something that I've wanted to do for a while. It was worth exploring to know for sure that I don't want to move it. I have a special guest that hasn't been here in quite a while. That was, we were reunited this morning. I don't know where he went though. <laughs> ah, we've been spent over a month without each other. <laughs> He's sweet. And I took him over here to the house to show him all the things that I've been doing that it looks like I've done nothing. Oh, I filled up the trash can halfway. I put in a burn pile, took down a hot tub room. He missed all that stuff. And he, um, it doesn't look, I've been feeling like it doesn't look like I've been doing much. But we're about to break down this room Which soon. Which one can I break down first? Which one can you break down first? Yep. This one that you're standing in right now needs to go next. work with just your foot something that I just got that I ordered that we have to do first before some of the spaces for sure next breakdown is going to be the sunroom so we have to board up this pretty trim entryway transom unit and we're gonna break that down um, suit it up obviously but there's no tile we have to worry about what we're really worried about is lead and asbestos lead we're gonna suit up we're gonna strip it what you know wear protective but asbestos uh -uh. Like so, I got a kit. I wanna do this for a sample for this tile that's in the kitchen. I have researched a ton about asbestos, the dangers of it, how to properly do it, calling someone out, and I feel like everything that I read, see if we've got it first. And then if we have it, we'll have someone professionally come out and remove it so that we can eventually demo this kitchen, at least its insides, and in the bathroom. We're not dealing with a lot, but we need to know. So all of this in here too. So let's see how to do it. So this was a certified lab results. So I know we're gonna have to suit up. I got some new suits, some, I got, we have our big masks and goggles and everything. Mask, gloves, 
a shipping label, a baggie, and an envelope. Asbestos cannot be seen with the naked eye, so treat all suspect material as if they contain asbestos. Asbestos or asbestos? Shut down any heating and cooling systems to minimize the spread of released fibers. Do not disturb the material any more than it is needed to take a small sample. Another thing that I want to test is the ceiling tiles in the main house. Okay, so this one goes behind your head. Oh yeah. Like this. Oh, I think I put yours on backwards. Oh, I put yours on backwards. <laughs> to do floor in here floor in the bathroom ceiling tiles in the main house and I am thinking we don't have asbestos anywhere I'm putting positive energy out but we need to know for sure okay ceiling Bathroom tile, kitchen tile, and we just have to label them and send them in. Romeo says he wants to break one thing. You're just gonna do it with a hammer? So I give him a crowbar and let him have fun. You're gonna just throw it? No, no, not like an axe. What are you gonna do? I don't know, I'm just gearing up. You're oh you're gearing up, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See how this one is detached? It's keeping you from hitting it. You can get this one off too. <laughs> I think you just like hitting it. Nice. And we take this to the burn pile. And we take it to the burn pile. Okay, I've officially missed you a lot. <laughs> I could never! I could do it, but I would have to do it piece by piece. He just barreled through that wall. You're like Chip Gaines. You ready for some coffee? Yeah. Dang, the whole wall's done. You did so well. Progress! We just gotta do all of that. So you're gonna see more and more of that next week. We're gonna take this whole, next up is this whole room, I think, right? You're gonna tackle that? <sighs> Not the way you just did it and exhaust yourself. True, but I need that workout. So. You needed that workout? Okay. okay. He's do... been cooped up in a car for a day and a half. Oh my God, that looks like arms. Shoot, yeah. I, mean, I love I guess it. that's a quick way to do it, but then. That is, yeah. But this is a smarter way to do it, but I just wanted to do it. Yeah. Good okay, little Let's stress reliever. Yeah. Oh yeah. We've had help from my parents for a while. And Romeo yeah. is about to go to work on this house over the next couple of days. Are you excited? I'm ready. <laughs> We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Follow along on our journey of renovating this 110 year old cottage. It's a lot of fun. It's also um, a lot of work, but it's so exciting. And he is about to totally break this wall down. So we will see you guys next week. Bye guys. I can't hear you. <laughs>